Hi, I'm Anna Hauk. Recently, some graffiti appeared here at this viaduct along the Front Creek bike path. A parent witnessed the artist at work and posted a pic on the next door community. It only took a moment before things started to heat up. When you think of the term street art, the world-renowned work of Banksy, Keith Haring, or Jean-Michel Basquiat may come to mind. Street art gets its roots from the famous murals of Mexican artists such as Diego Rivera, Frida Kahlo, and Jose Clemente Orozco. Gradually, this art form attracted American audiences and later European and global attention. While some artists are paid, others prefer anonymity and don't seek permission. With a wide range of motivations and messages, street art is an edgy way to promote political messages, enhance urban aesthetics, or even build a brand. But not everyone's a fan. So here's the great debate. Is graffiti vandalism or is it street art? Let's ask an expert. Hey gang, I'm, uh, I'm Mr. Zimka. I, I teach graphic design here at, uh, at Barrington High School. Welcome to the BHS Make Lab. What is your take on this debate? Is it graffiti, specifically street art, vandalism, or art? I'm, I'm pulled between uh, two different groups looking and analyzing the piece. You know, uh, one of the comments that I saw was, is I hope this isn't inappropriate. And, you know, I didn't know what it meant at first. So as, as anybody should do before they jump to any conclusions is do a little bit of research. So um, I, I put the words in, I research it, and it turns out uh, unus anus, it's, it means one year in, in Latin. And it, it, apparently it's a, a YouTube video. Everything behind what that, uh, that YouTube channel is talking about, I think that is absolutely art. It, uh, you know, they're talking one year to go before it, uh, for, you know, it never, it ceases to exist. So it, it's no longer there. There's something, there's something beautiful about that. There's symbolism um, in, in the, uh, the way they go about doing things. Um, as far as this, this piece of graffiti uh, goes, you know, it, it has its, it has its, uh, there's meaning behind the, the logo and the, the hourglass and the text. So it takes a little bit of work to be able to create something like that. Vandalism is such a, a, a touchy topic where if you're destroying property and, you know, that, that, that's a no-no. You know, graffiti and vandalism and tagging of that sort, I, I don't appreciate, but, but, but street art and people actually, you know, using their craft for, uh, for good. Or, I, uh, I think it could continue the debate on whether it's art. So what kind of role do you think graffiti plays in our culture and our community? As you can see, I'm, I'm a fan of cool things and, you know, Graffiti and street art at some point, if you, if you haven't done your research, there are some cool stuff out there. And I've, uh, I've been a big fan of street art for a long time. Um, I'm a huge fan of sticker culture. Um, if you've ever come down to C-138, the BHS Make Lab, it's, it's, it's a cool space riddled with graffiti or quote unquote uh, street art. But, but I've given uh, permission. I've given permission to, to the students. So I think uh, between graffiti and street art, it, it, it's, a, it's a way uh, the students can can express themselves or a way that that artists can express themselves it's in the popular culture and, it, and it's and it's here to stay there, there are a number of, of street artists like like Shepard Ferry and you know he's famous for for Obey Giant and the Hope poster and the idea of phenomenology and creating uh, and creating something out of nothing or creating popularity out of wonderment street art is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger these these people are now world famous artists and uh, that's, that's not gonna go away anytime soon. What are your thoughts on designating a space for graffiti within our community? That's, that's a great idea. It's paint, you can paint over it, right? And as, as long as things are appropriate, you know, set, setting a, a time limit on something, I think that would be, a, that'd be an awesome idea. I, I know um, in my classroom alone, it's, there's, there's, there's designated spots where you wanna put, you know, I've got a, an entire door full of stickers and a desk full of stickers. I've got uh, a couple of pillars in the classroom that students are able to draw and paint on, um, you know, because as long as it's appropriate, you know, why not, uh, why not give uh, creatives a space to create um, and uh, express themselves in, you know, in a, a cool new way, try a new thing. So where do you stand on this great debate? Vandalism or street art? Let us know at greatdebate238 at gmail.com. Reporting for BHS TV, I'm Anna Houck. See you next time.